Epic Theatre was primarily proposed by Bertolt Brecht who suggested that a play should not cause the spectator to identify emotionally with the characters or action before them, but should instead provoke rational self-reflection and a critical view of the action on the stage. Brecht thought that the experience of a climactic catharsis of emotion left an audience complacent. Instead, he wanted his audiences to adopt a critical perspective in order to recognize social injustice and exploitation and to be moved to go forth from the theater and effect change in the world outside. For this purpose, Brecht employed the use of techniques that remind the spectator that the play is a representation of reality and not reality itself. By highlighting the constructed nature of the theatrical event, Brecht hoped to communicate that the audience's reality was equally constructed and, as such, was changeable. History, epic theatre was a theatrical movement arising in the early to mid-20th century from the theories and practice of a number of theatre practitioners who were responding to the political climate of the time through the creation of a new political theatre. Those practitioners included Erwin Piscator, Vladimir Mayakovsky, Vsevolod Mierold and, most famously, Bertolt Brecht. The term epic theatre comes from Erwin Piscator who coined it during his first year as director of Berlin's Volksbau one quarter HNE. Piscator aimed to encourage playwrights to address issues related to contemporary existence thereby creating new subject matter to stage and then staging it through the use of documentary effects, audience interaction as well as creating ways in which the audience feel distanced from the event. Although many of the concepts and practices involved in Brecht and epic theatre had been around for years, even centuries, Brecht unified them, developed the style, and popularized it. Epic theatre incorporates a mode of acting that utilizes what he calls justice. The epic form describes both a type of written drama and a methodological approach to the production of plays, its qualities of clear description and reporting and its use of choruses and projections as a means of commentary earned it the name epic. Near the end of his career Brecht preferred the term dialectical theatre rather than epic theatre to describe the style of theatre he pioneered. From his later perspective, the term epic theatre had become too formal a concept to be of use anymore. One of Brecht's most important aesthetic innovations prioritized function over the sterile opposition between form and content. According to Manfred Weckerth, one of Brecht's directors at the Berliner Ensemble at the time, the term refers to the dialecticizing of events that his theatre produces, which he discussed in his work A Short Organum for the Theatre. A function of the style of theatre is to ensure that the audience is consistently aware that they are watching and involved in an artificial production. Epic theatre was a reaction against popular forms of theatre, particularly the naturalistic approach pioneered by Konstantin Stanislavski. Like Stanislavski, Brecht disliked the shallow spectacle, manipulative plots, and heightened emotion of melodrama. But where Stanislavski attempted to engender real human behavior in acting through the techniques of Stanislavski's system and to absorb the audience completely in the fictional world of the play, Brecht saw Stanislavski's methodology as producing escapism. Brecht's own social and political focus departed also from surrealism and the theatre of cruelty, as developed in the writings and dramaturgy of Antonin Artaud, who sought to affect audiences viscerally, psychologically, physically, and irrationally. Techniques One of the most important techniques Brecht developed to perform epic theatre is the Befremdungs effect, or the alienation effect. The purpose of this technique was to make the audience feel detached from the action of the play, so they do not become immersed in the fictional reality of the stage or become overly empathetic of the character. Flooding the theatre with bright lights, having actors play multiple characters, having actors also rearrange the set in full view of the audience and breaking the fourth wall by speaking to the audience are all ways he used to achieve the Befremdungs effect. As with the principle of dramatic construction involved in the epic form of spoken drama amalgamated or what Brecht calls non-Aristotelian drama, the epic approach to play production utilizes a montage technique of fragmentation, contrast and contradiction, and interruptions. While the French playwright Jean Genet articulates a very different worldview in his dramas from that found in Brecht's, in a letter to the director Roger Blin on the most appropriate approach to staging his The Screens in 1966, he advises an epic approach to its production, Brecht II, 
advised treating each element of a play independently, like a music hall turn that is able to stand on its own. Common production techniques in epic theatre include a simplified, non-realistic scenic design offset against a selective realism in costuming and props, as well as announcements or visual captions that interrupt and summarize the action. Brecht used comedy to distance his audiences from the depicted events and was heavily influenced by musicals and fairground performers, putting music and song in his plays. Acting in epic theatre requires actors to play characters believably without convincing either the audience or themselves that they have become the characters. Actors frequently address the audience directly out of character and play multiple roles. Brecht thought it was important that the choices the characters made were explicit, and tried to develop a style of acting wherein it was evident that the characters were choosing one action over another. For example, a character could say, I could have stayed at home, but instead I went to the shops. This he called fixing the not slash but element. See also Notes Sources, Brecht, Betold 1964 Brecht on Theatre, The Development of an Aesthetic Ed and Trans John Willett British edition. London, Methuen. ISBN 0-413-38800X. USA edition. New York, Hill and Wine. ISBN 0-8090-3100-0. Brecht, Betold 1965. The of Dialogues. Trans. John Willett. Betold Brecht, Plays. Poetry, Procer. London, Methuen, 1985. ISBN 0-413-38890-5. Brecht, Betold 1949. A Short Organum for the Theatre. Brecht on Theatre, The Development of an Aesthetic. Ed and Trans. John Willett. British Edition. London, Methuen. ISBN 0-413-38800X. USA Edition. New York, Hill and Wine. ISBN 0-8090-3100-0. Pages 179-205. Jeanette, Jean 1966. Letters to Roger Blinn. In Reflections on the Theatre and Other Writings. Trans. Richard Seaver. London, Faber, 1972. 7 a Euro 60. ISBN 0-571-09104-0. Willett, John 1964. Editorial Notes. In Brecht on Theatre, The Development of an Aesthetic, by Bertolt Brecht. London, Methuen. ISBN 0-413-38800-X. New York, Hill & Wine. ISBN 0-8090-3100-0. Wiles, Timothy. The Theatre Event. Chicago, Chicago University Press. ISBN 0-226-89801-6. External links. Epic Theatre Euro University of Southern Queensland Artsworks Resources on the Good Woman of Setswin.